But Moses spoke about Moses spoke about Jesus. Moses preached about Jesus. Jesus never preached about Muhammad. Never. Don't lie to yourself. You said one person makes it more authentic. But let me ask you, if that one person is wrong, what happens? Then we know the message is wrong. But there you are. The Quran is wrong. Yeah, but you don't want to understand. You're not interested. A witness is somebody who has evidence. Yeah, that's my point. That's what I'm saying. Listen, those of you are simple family, I love you. I may not be able to respond to you personally, but I love you on Soko. And I'm telling you, keep up the good work because you know God is rolling on with this thing, and nothing will stop it. The gates of hell shall not prevail against the gospel. In the UK, the gospel is spreading because Jesus Christ, he alone is Lord. And for those who have always written good comments, let, let me let you know, you are encouraging me. I may not respond, but I read your comments and I'm encouraged. Whenever I read from the Soko family, I'm empowered. I mean, I mean, in Jesus, like, let me go for it because you know, there are people who believe in the light of the gospel. And that is what I'm here to do preaching the gospel, letting all men know that He alone is the only way, He alone is the only truth, and He alone is the only life. No man can come to the Father except through Jesus Christ. And unfortunately, this man is confused. Yes, come again. He is God who came as a prophet, but more than a prophet. So I don't agree with you. See, look, I know Jesus is 100% man, 100% God. I know to your mind, your Muslim mind, you go, how can I be? Well, that is only God can do that. To show you is God, only God can do that. Come again. Yeah, but you see, in your mind it has to be one. No, no, no. God cannot be limited by not, he can't be a calm human being. How do you know? If God chose to become a human being, that is his choice. And, and watch this. He didn't just do it. He did it to save you and me. That is why he became a human being. Only one God. Hmm? No, no, no. Only one God. Only one. Only one. I believe in only one God. Yes. In Christianity, what are prophets for? Well, they are messengers. Yes. Come again. What are prophets for? Prophets are sent with messages at a particular time. But watch this. Their messages began in a certain frame and they remain the same and so we have what we call false prophets and so they are prophets but they are also false prophets yeah, but i'm letting you know yes because jesus was a fulfillment of all the prophets there hasn't been, listen, listen, Jesus was a messenger and a message. After him, there has been no prophet that was it. Well, God sent me. Those after Jesus were sent by Jesus. Paul was sent by Jesus. John was sent by Jesus. Matthew was sent by Jesus. Nobody has come after Jesus who was not sent by Jesus. I want to ask you a question. Did Jesus send prophet Muhammad? No, 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 no. I'm asking you. Did Jesus send him? That's why it cannot be. Because everybody who came, Jesus was the message. After him, those who followed him, they became his messengers to carry him as a message. That's what you say, but it's a lie. It hasn't been changed. It hasn't been changed. Why are different versions? Listen, you said versions. I'm a Ghanaian. Yeah? I speak Ga. And so you can't, I can't, those in my those who come from where I come from, they can't speak English. So what do you do? You give them a Ga version. Yeah, and so, yeah, but I'm saying to you, and so when you have versions, it may be like a deep, even English. We've got old English, we've got modern English. Even now, the English is changing. And so, when you have a version that carries the same message, it may be like a version, but it's the same message. The message has not changed. I've seen contradiction. Give me, show me one. What that you are, that you can't. Show, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't say something you can't prove. If you say it, prove it. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I like that. You're a severe Muslim. You said that you're, you're God is facing it and you're saying that everyone else is wrong. What do you mean anyone else? Explain to me. You said that the Prophet Muhammad's love is wrong. Yeah, but I, let's, let's argue why I say it's wrong. Let's say why. Explain to me why he's wrong and Jesus is wrong. Okay. Because he came after Jesus. 
Number one. No, no, wait. Number one. Number two, Jesus warned about anybody coming after him with a different message. And if you want to know the truth, Prophet Muhammad truly came with a different message. Prophet Muhammad, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Those who follow Jesus, they preach Jesus. Why? Because Jesus came from the Father. And when you honor Jesus, you're honoring the Father. If you dishonor Jesus, if you question Jesus, if you begin to like, who is Jesus? Then you're questioning the Father God himself. That's a problem. Yes. Because his message is not about Jesus. The New Testament is all about Jesus. Everything is about Jesus. All of it. I promise you. The New Testament is all about Jesus. Because all the prophets, they prophesied about Jesus. And when he came, he says, I'm here. I'm the way. I'm the truth. I'm the life. No one, not anybody, no one can come to God except by me. So if Prophet Muhammad says, well, you know, things went wrong, he's come to correct it. He better correct it with Jesus. He better be preaching Jesus. But the Muhammad, the Quran does not preach Jesus. It doesn't. And because, and, and watch it, watch it. For you to become a Muslim, you have to declare that Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God. That's a, that's a problem. How can you say that? How, how can you ignore the way Jesus and say, well, uh, uh, I'm only believing in one God and Prophet Muhammad. That's wrong. It's a contradiction. Come again. Well, he sent prophets. Jesus sent prophets. Come again. But they came with Jesus. They came to preach Jesus. Nothing else. Nothing. Yeah, forever. See, you want to mention Prophet Muhammad. He cannot fit in that group. Because Prophet Muhammad does not preach Jesus. Where do you get that? That's the truth, mate. Come again. I would have the prophet Jesus, the one that you've made, is what I'm trying to say. What do you mean? I am just, because you can't have a story and ignore the beginning. Every story, you have to go to the beginning, then you will know what's going on. Yes. For real, I like that. It is Jesus. The message is all about Jesus. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and he's the end. You know what the Bible says? There is no other name among men that has been given to save us except the name of Jesus. The name. Jesus is the name. Sorry. That's the point. Islam ignores Jesus. That makes, uh, Islam wrong, yeah. It doesn't ignore it. Jesus. It does. Does it, it calls him a messenger and no more. Is that ignoring him? Because you don't even know it. Let in me ask you. What the was the message of Jesus in Islam? We believe as Muslims that No, what you no no. Tell me what does the Quran preach about the message of Jesus? Tell me. The righteous messenger and he came to the world. What was his message? Bro, bro, bro. In his own what was his message? Exactly. In your own book, but you see, did I, did I, did I dispute that Jesus is a messenger? Did I dispute that? I'm the one proclaiming it. I'm saying to you, in Islam, you don't acknowledge the name above every name. Jesus Christ is a name above every name. There is no other name amongst men where we can be saved except the name of Jesus. He's the only name, no other name. But you Muslims, you say, well, Prophet Muhammad, that's wrong. Prophet Muhammad is a man. He's a human being. He's a sinner. But Jesus is more than a man. He's the Alpha. He's the Omega. He's the beginning. He's the end. He's the Word of God. Jesus Christ is the Word of God. And Jesus is God, the Word, big flesh. Of course, every human being is born. Jesus is hundred percent human being. I agree. He's a human being. I'm not arguing. Because, because he was, he is, and he will ever be. Of course. Of course. Wait, 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 wait. When Jesus became a man, he, he was limited in his knowledge as a man. I agree. Because he emptied himself of the qualities of God and became a man. By becoming a man, he limited himself. You know God is not limited. Yet Jesus limited himself into a human body. I'm not arguing. He was a man. 
But don't forget, he was God before he became a man. And you can't, you know, it's there you are. How do you know? Well, that's not possible. How do you know? How do you know it is? Because he saved the world. He died to save the world. He shed his blood. He gave his life. He defeated the devil. He came back from the dead. Do you know anybody who came back from the dead? Jesus died and came back from the dead. Of course, you know anybody else? I'm asking you, do you know anybody who died and rose again and is still alive? We don't believe that. Well, there you are. That is the reason why Muslims are going to hell. Because that is what makes you saved. You have to believe Jesus died. After three days, he was erected. If you reject the resurrection, you go to hell. I'm not saying it. I'm telling you what the scripture says. How do you know? Because Prophet Muhammad told you he didn't die, but he wasn't there. Those who were there said he died. The Roman soldiers killed him. It is written in record. They killed him. It's known. He was crucified. And you say, well, he wasn't died. It was somebody else. How do you know? This is why the Quran cannot be true. Because the Quran has its own stories. The Quran has different accounts to the disciples. The disciples who were there, they gave an account. The Quran says something different. Now, let me ask you. Those who were there give an account. Muhammad wasn't there. He says, God showed it to me. So we got to believe him because he said, God showed it to me. How do we know? There were people there. They saw what happened. And you deny it. Yes. He came back as God human. He's alive today, right now. He's in the heavens. Because they saw him ascend. They watch him. He ascended. They watch him. Come again. Father. Because men call on God. When a man is in trouble, he calls on God. Yeah, but you see, you, you, you say, what? Must he call? Well, you call, don't you? When you need help, you call on God, don't you? Yeah, but I'm asking you. I'm saying to you, human beings call on God. So, uh, so, but I'm saying to you, Jesus was a human being, but he was also God. You see, in your mind, you find it hard to understand. Come again. To the Father. No, no, no. To the Father. To the Father. Is Jesus the Father? No. Who is the Father? The Father is the father of all mankind so is he a god but watch it watch it watch it the god is manifested yeah when we say manifested it means god is shown as father son and holy spirit one god not three one i know your muslim mind you think well the spirit of god yeah is god but he is the spirit of god and then there's a father and then there's a word let me ask you let me ask you as you stand here right now are you one yeah? Okay, I'm asking, no, no, let me ask you, let me, let me ask you, let me ask you, do you have a soul? Is your soul your body? But how come there's two of you? That is a point. God, you said it yourself, thank you very much. God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, only one, even you, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Even you, even you, every human being is three in one. Spirit, soul, body. One, I'm one. What do you mean? Oh, when you mention attributes, of course, he's omniscient, he's omnipotent, and he's omnipresent. Wait, 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 no. In your mind, in your mind, in your mind, when Jesus became a human being, he was a word of God and he became a human being. Now he's lost his essence of God. No. In nature, in essence, in beginning, in origin, he is God. You, your origin is man. Jesus' origin is God. See, nobody, even Adam's origin is man. Adam is man. He's a human being. But Jesus' origin is God. He became a human being. He didn't lose being God. He's still God. I know. I, I hear you. I know your mind. Let, let me let me say this to you. Let me let me let me explain. Let me let me let me explain. Let me let me explain. Let me let me explain. Let me explain. Let me let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Yeah. There are things. There are things. Watch it. There are things your mind cannot understand, but your heart. Why would God give you something that your mind? No, no. Wait, 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 wait. We live in a world where we don't understand everything in our mind, but our heart can accept it. 
You see, there are things your heart accepts, but your mind does not understand. Let, let, me ask, let me ask a question. Let me, let me ask a question. Do you understand love completely? But you feel it. In your heart, your mind cannot understand love, and yet you accept it. You go, well, love is real, but you know what? Your mind can't comprehend the dimensions of love. And so what you know what you do? You accept it. It's the same with God. In God, your mind is limited. But you know what? You believe. You say, I accept it. Believing is accepting. That is why when you come to God, you must believe. You must accept. You can't reject. Yes. You just said to me that. Muslims are wrong. Yes. You just admit it. Yes. That you can't prove it logically. I can't. Logic what do you mean? What, what do you mean? God can go in three points. You just said that the mind can't. Uh, but the heart can. The heart can. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, but let me ask you something. Can wrong be right? No. Wrong is wrong. So my point to you, my point to you is that Jesus was there before Islam came. Now, Islam proposed to Moses correct what was Jesus. wrong. Moses but Moses spoke about Moses spoke about Jesus. Moses preached about Jesus. My friend, my friend. Jesus never preached about Muhammad. Never. Don't lie to yourself. It does. Moses pointed to Jesus. Jesus never pointed to Muhammad. Never. Never. Don't picture me in every Christian Bible. homosexuals. And so, and so, and so, you know what? I've engaged you. I like the way you engage. At least we're talking. Hmm? And I'm saying to you, I'm not against Muslims. I'm not like oh, Muslims. I don't, I don't, I don't. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, but I'm saying that in a discussion, the two cannot both be right. One is right and one is wrong. And my point to you is that Jesus was there before Islam came. Islam says we came to correct what is wrong. How do you know what is wrong? When you yourself you're wrong. Yeah, but you, you just say you reduce him. You reduce his essence. You reduce his purpose. He has been given a name above every name. Jesus' name is above every name. Let me ask you. Do you know that? Jesus' name is above every name. Demons shake in his name. Devils tremble in his name. Even death shakes in his name. Why? Because he has achieved a name above every name. He died for even you. He died for you and I. He belongs to you. Because human beings will die and go to hell. Jesus died so we don't have to die and go to hell. And so now we may die, but we won't go to hell because he came back from the dead. Of course. Does he love all the humans? Come again. Does he love all the humans? Yes. That is why he sent. That is. Watch it, watch it. The mercy of God is what sent Jesus. Jesus is the mercy of God. When you reject the mercy of God, there's nothing left. Jesus is the mercy of God. Prophet Muhammad is not the mercy of God, but Jesus is the mercy of God. I didn't say it, the scripture. You see, whatever I say, I can prove from the scripture. I'm not preaching my own message. Show us. Show us. Show us. What do you mean? I'm what? What do you mean? What How do you know? How do you know? He will show us. How do you know? I'll try and Why next time I come out of the I hear you, I hear you. But I'm saying to you, as a Muslim, I'm saying to you, don't just accept what you've been told. You need to you need to investigate Islam. Well, the point is that the Quran is one book. Yeah? The Bible is made up of different books. Yeah, Show me. and the different Show books me. were written Show by me. different people. Yeah, well, then, like John wrote John, Matthew wrote Matthew, Luke wrote Luke. But when it comes to the Quran, it is a word of only one man. Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of the Bible of the of the Quran. No, no, I'm saying to you. No, no, but you just said. I'm saying okay. My point, my point is that Prophet Muhammad has no witness. Okay, no, it's only his word. It's only word. Yes. 
John, Luke, can you tell me when they came? Was it 10 years after Jesus? No, Jesus, they were, he called them. These were fishermen, he called them. Now, Luke was a doctor. Yeah? He called them to follow him. And so, they were the ones, do you know Jesus never wrote anything himself? Because he's God, he spoke and it was written. He never wrote anything himself. The Holy Spirit and the miracles. He raised the dead. Four days, Lazarus was dead. He rose him from the dead. Because, because, because you know what? I have seen it in my own life. The same power of Jesus. I have seen it in my life. Yes. I've seen many miracles, many miracles, many. Yeah, but anyone can tell us some miracles. Yeah. Come again. Any of us, there's so many Muslims that say there's only Christians that say there's only Christians that ain't really evidence. Well, that is, that is where actually it comes down to you. You can either choose to believe or reject. The same thing with Islam. You can choose like Islam. It's not by force. You choose. You make a choice. And so when somebody speaks, and I'm saying to you that Prophet Muhammad cannot be right. And Jesus be right. I said, one of them must be wrong. You said, yeah, you agree. Because the two cannot be right. Because they're not saying the same thing. See? That's my point. Not the same thing. So, 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 so my issue with you is that. Yes. The Quran is the word of only one man. One man. Yes. That makes it more authentic. Uh -uh. No, no, no. In the scriptures, even Sharia, Sharia demands that there must be two witnesses before a judgment can be corrected. Is that true? Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait let, me ask, let me ask you. In Sharia, you need two witnesses. Yeah? So it's the same principle. You can't take the word of just one man. You can't. If I was less to read, you know Chinese wisdom, have you heard Yeah, 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 yeah. If I was to tell you a secret message, yes. and you were to tell him, yes. and you were to read it, after yes. five years, yes. most likely the message would be changed. Yes, I agree. So it's more authentic if it came from one person than a group of different. Because humans by nature, they all agree with each other. Good. So we uh, quote Luke and whatever. Yeah. Let me let me let me ask, let me ask you one question. Let me let me no wait wait. You spoke. Let me ask a question. 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 You said one person makes it more authentic. But let me ask you, if that one person is wrong, what happens? Then we know the message is wrong. But there you are. The Quran is wrong. That's my point. My point to you is that the Quran is wrong because 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 there is only there is only. Listen. Don't show. Listen. Listen. Is Prophet Muhammad wrong? Yeah, he's wrong. Prove it. That's all I've because been he is the only witness of his book. He has a book called the Quran. He is the only witness that makes it unbelievable. And that is miracle. Because God has always worked with witnesses. Is Jesus God always works with witnesses. Moses flew before God. Moses said to God, "How do I know that? How do I prove to the Jews that you sent me?" And God told Moses, "You got a stick." Put on the ground. That thing became a, a snake. Who's the witness for the Bible? Uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Same How word. Because the same, the same thing. Really? See, if, if something happened, speak, if something happened here, what's the criteria you need to be a witness? Explain that, and I'll try You have to be truthful and be a true witness of what you are saying. Watch it. Witnesses, I can prove. I can say that I was there. I saw it. No, so no, somebody said it. No, I saw it. I heard it. Huh? For example, you're here, aren't you? If, if we say the past five minutes, you and I have been speaking, you are a witness to our conversation. So am I. What is a witness to the Bible? What do you mean? You just said that Prophet Muhammad is the only. Because according to the scripture, in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word shall be established. You don't have two or three witnesses, the word is baseless. You don't understand what you No, you don't understand. You're not listening. Let me ask, let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. Do you understand the law of witnesses? Do you understand it? Yeah. What does it mean? You witness. you explain it. I don't know. No, 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 no. Go on, go on, go on. Go on. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? But if you don't know, I'll be. I can't tell you then. If you don't know, how will you believe me? No, but then you can tell me. Yeah, but you don't want to understand. No, no, it's not. You're not interested. A witness. Is somebody who has evidence. Yeah, I know what a witness is, but yeah, that's my point. That's what I'm saying. 
the law of witnesses is that you must have a, you must have evidence. For a book to be from God, have evidence. Have what do you mean? For a book to be from God, have have witness. What about miracles? Like a, do you know what? Bring the sick here and watch them healed in the name of Jesus. Then you will believe. I keep telling the Moses, bring the sick. You will bring them. Bring the sick here and Jesus will heal them. Then we'll know whether Jesus is real or not. Moses, bring the sick. Bring them. No, bring them here. Bring them. Bring them. And we'll know. Yes. Why do you go to the hospital? Because it doesn't work like that. You need consent. You can't just go to the hospital and begin to. It's not magic. See, Jesus is not magic. There has to be engagement. There has to be permission. If that was if that was the case, God will save everybody by force. But people have to make a choice. You have a will. You make a choice. You open up your heart. You receive Jesus. That is the message. Because he worked miracles. Today, the same miracles happen in his name. Everything Jesus did, a miracle is something that only God can do. When you say miracle, open blind eyes, make cripples walk blind eyes. Open. If a blind, if you bring somebody and they are blind, and we say Jesus and they can see. How did you know that really happened? You can ask the blind man. Yeah, bring him. Bring him. I'll pray. Bring them. I'll pray in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. So you are Jesus. No, I represent Jesus. I am a servant of Jesus. Thank you. I was actually finishing. I was I was wrapping up. Actually, yeah. Okay, so what happened on your previous discussion with a Muslim gentleman? Yes. What happened there? Well, here was a young Muslim man, and he had questions. I told him, Jesus and Muhammad can't both be right. Either Muhammad is right and Jesus is wrong, or Jesus is right and Muhammad is wrong. But you see, we know Jesus came before Muhammad. We know Moses spoke about Jesus, but Jesus never spoke about Muhammad. In fact, one of them said the, the whole series of Christianity and Islam is an episode. I said, well, the episode changed because we have a different story now. But it will never change. He is the only Lord, the King, Master, and the only way. And so go family, be blessed. Have a wonderful time. I love you. Thank you so much, Mr. Soko himself. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.